Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you the quickest way we can do programmatic SEO inside of Webflow. Let's do it. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, programmatic SEO is a strategy of creating unique, high quality web pages at scale by linking some sort of website template to a database. All right, so the goal of this strategy is to create hundreds, if not thousands of unique web pages so that you can rank higher in the Google search engine. All right, so we're going to do programmatic SEO inside of Webflow in four simple steps. Step number one is we need to go and create a CMS collection. So I'm gonna call it uh, programmatic SEO Webflow, okay? Call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to have a name field, a slug field, those are mandatory. I'm then going to add a custom field um, and just call it post body. So this will just kind of be the, the body of my post. All right, I'll save this. And then I'll also kind of create a date field here. And this will be our post date field, all right? You don't have to do these fields, but just for this example, this is what I'm gonna use. And I'm going to hit create collection. And then I'm gonna create five sample items just so we have them to work with. And that is step number one. Now, step number two is we want to create a CMS collection page, pulling in the data from that CMS collection we just made. So if I come down here, you can see under CMS collection pages, I have this programmatic SEO web flow template and I'll click that and we see we have a blank page here. So this is gonna be very basic, but I'm just gonna drop in a heading and I'm gonna get text from that CMS collection we just made it's called the programmatic SEO. I'm gonna pull in the name field, all right? And then I'm gonna also drop in a paragraph and I'm gonna pull that text in from our post body field, all right? And then I'll just kind of get this into the center so we can see it better. And that's kind of all we're gonna do here. It's gonna be very basic. Obviously you make this look prettier for your own brand and website. That's step number two. Now step number three is we're gonna hop into Airtable and create a new table. All right, I'm gonna call it my Webflow sync table or whatever. And I'll hit save. And I want to line my columns up to the exact same CMS collection fields that I set up back here. So I want a name, a slug, a post body, and a post date field in my Airtable database. So I'll do that right now. So name's already there. I'll change this to post body. I'll hit save. I'll change this field to a date field. And I'll call it post date. And then I'll have a slug field out here. And I'll change that to single text and I'll hit save. So you want your Airtable database to correspond perfectly to your CMS collection back in Webflow. Okay, now step number four is we're gonna hop into WhaleSync. All right, and I'll have this linked down in the description below for you if you wanna go sign up. But WhaleSync is awesome. Essentially, what WhaleSync lets you do is link in real time your Airtable databases with your live Webflow CMS collections that are published on your site. So any change in the Airtable database back here will automatically show up live on our published site back in our CMS collection over here. So it's really, really awesome. It's super intuitive and it's probably the easiest tool I've ever used. So let me show you how we set this up right now. All right, so to get started, we're going to create a new base. So I'm gonna hit create new. I'm gonna sync up Airtable and I'm gonna drop in my API key here. And then I'm going to drop in my base sharing link right here. So if I go back into Airtable and I go to my database, I just hit share up here, share publicly. I can copy this link right here. I can just drop that in here like that. And I've now authorized Airtable. And I want to sync my WhaleSync blog post base. So I'll hit save connection. And I want to sync Airtable to Webflow. So I'll hit authorize. I'll choose the website that I'm working in that I have my CMS collection in and authorize app. And we will save that connection. And then we'll hit map tables. And we can choose which Airtable database we want to sync with. So I want to sync this Webflow sync table, the one we've been working in, to my programmatic SEO Webflows CMS collection that we made back in Webflow at the beginning of the video. Okay, and I want this to be a two-way sync. So anytime I change something in Airtable, it'll update live on my Webflow website. 
And anytime I change anything to my Webflow CMS collection inside of Webflow, it will automatically update my data in Airtable. So it's a two-way sync. None of the data will ever get out of sync or get wonky. It will be one single source of truth. It's pretty sick. So we have this two-way sync here. I'll hit map fields. And then this is as intuitive as it gets. So you want to map your fields. It'll do most of them for you. But so for example, my name field inside of Airtable will link to my name field inside of my CMS collection inside of Webflow. Post body to post body, slug to slug. And then I'll add in my post date field here. And we've now mapped our fields. I'll hit save base. And our base has been created. And I'm just gonna turn this on now so we can start testing it and I can show you guys how this is working. So I'll turn this on. I've read the notes and I'll turn syncing on. All right, so that is on now and we can see if we come back to Airtable, we have Jordan Love is the future with a post date and a slug. All right, let me make a couple more uh, just fake posts here and we can see if they update automatically inside of Webflow. We'll call this one Apple a day I've got some fake text over here that I'm just gonna put into the post body. Right here. All right, and as you, you can see, here comes my sample posts that I made back in Webflow at the beginning of the video. So these fake posts right here, these five, just synced automatically to my Airtable database. So, you get, so we can already see it's working. But let's do a couple fake ones here just in case. Abraham Lincoln is a boss. And we'll go grab some text over here from ChatGPT for our post body. And I think you can start to see how we are able to manage hundreds, if not thousands of web pages relatively automatically by leveraging this whale sync tool and linking our Airtable database to Webflow. So if we come back to Webflow and refresh, we should see that we have now three new blog posts inside of our Webflow CMS collection. So we come to our CMS collection and boom, we can see we have all three new posts here, which means that if we come to our web page here, we see that we now have three new web pages, all uniquely pulling in from our Airtable database back here. All right. So you can see now how you can create unique web pages at scale by using whale sync and linking the Webflow CMS to some sort of content management database, in this case, Airtable. So by mass producing all these web pages across the internet, we're able to rank up in the Google search engine and boost our business. So it's pretty awesome. So if you guys like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. It really helped me out. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. If you have any questions for me, get down in the comments and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support and for being here week after week. It really means the world to me. Anyways, I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.